Hello YouTube, um, this is video number 25, um, the last of my catch-up videos. Um, so earlier this month, somebody had asked me, um, you know, what my, how I interact with my neighbors, like what, um, what gender they see predominantly. And I had said that I'm pretty femme of center regardless, so most people tend to read me female. Um, unless I push, you know, a different direction, but, you know, just sort of cursory glance, they're going to read me female. So most of my, um, most of my neighborhood people, um, think of me as a woman. Um, and that's always been fine with me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that my actual next door neighbors think there's something going on, but they're not quite positive and they're really polite and they're not going to ask. So we'll see, you know, how that relationship develops. Um, but it all kind of came, it caught me off guard. Like that kind of a setup caught me off guard once because there's this older gentleman who, um, walks around the neighborhood, um, oftentimes with his wife. And so I've talked to them a couple of times while I've been out with my dog and, um, you know, uh, just very friendly. I think we exchanged names. Honestly, I don't remember what theirs is. Um, I introduced myself as Bryn and, um, then the other day, I was out with the dog and we were, I was standing in the yard and I saw him across the street. So he crossed over to talk to me and he said, you know, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, blah, blah, blah. And you know, just whatever timing didn't line up or whatever. Um, but he said, um, so is it just you living here? I see another girl come and go. And I said, oh, my girlfriend lives here with me and her sister. Um, not to mention my daughters. So, um, I'm, I'm thinking that he heard girlfriend in the BFF type context, as opposed to, you know, the person that I love type context. Um, cause he, uh, we're talking blah, blah, blah. And he's like, so where's the hubby? Uh, I was like, uh, not here. And it so caught me off guard to just be put into this heterosexual context all of a sudden. Um, you know, and, and I said, you know, I'm divorced. Um, and you know, then he asked me, you know, is, is your husband married again? And I just lied and said, yes. And I, I didn't know what to do. I kind of panicked. Um, I, I really hadn't been put in that position before. Um, usually I'll play like, um, the gender neutral game. So I will talk about my ex, um, and, you know, my kids are with my ex rather than with their mom, um, just so as not to out myself, um, or, you know, um, cast my ex-wife as a lesbian, which, um, I don't think that she would appreciate. Um, so I didn't, I don't know how I would handle that if, if it happened again. Um, now granted, he's basically a stranger and I'm going to be living here, but I mean, it's not like I'm going to have him over for coffee or anything like that. Um, but I just thought it was so weird, like it, that it, especially considering it had just come up earlier this month for one of these other videos about how I interact with, you know, my neighbors. Um, it really felt like, I mean, it was a deception. Like it literally was a deception and I, I wasn't going to sit down and have like a big, like lecture on gender theory and, you know, the gender spectrum and non-binary identities and, pardon me, sorry, um, you know, and all of this stuff that, um, you know, he probably wasn't interested in, um, uh, that not to mention would also out me and it's chilly here in Chicago standing out there with a the dog. I didn't want to have to, you know, have the big long conversation, but yeah, so apparently now I have an ex-husband who's married again. Um, you know, it, it's, it sets up a really odd scenario because if he ever comes across my kids, he's going to say something about your mom and they're going to be thinking of their mom, you know, and he'll be thinking of me. Um, and then at some point they'll have to clarify and the girls will say, that's my dad, you know? Um, so I don't know what's going to happen then. Um, you know, 
it was weird that being put on the spot like that, being just cast in this heterosexual narrative, um, I panicked and went along with it just to feel safe, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's what I would have expected myself to do. And I don't know if it's what I'll do going forward, but at the same time, I don't know that it, it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk of um, outing myself because I don't know, you know, anything about him or who he lives with or, you know, who he would say anything to. So I don't know. Um, anyway, let me know what you think about the situation and what you would do in the situation. Leave a comment below. Um, send me a note, you know, um, I would really like to hear, you know, um, you can contact me, Brenda by gender.net. Um, so this video is going to go up really late on November 29th. You'll probably be watching it November 30th, um, or, you know, much, much later, of course. Um, so November 30th is going to be the 30th day of November, um, marking the 30th video for my 30 and 30 series for Trans Awareness Month. And what I'm going to try and do is host a Google Plus Hangout on air, um, which will broadcast a Google Plus Hangout, which is a couple of video people, um, directly to my YouTube channel. So you can watch it live. Um, I'm going to try to do that at either 6.30 or 7.30 Central. I'm not positive on the time. I will post the actual time on my Twitter account. So if you want to go to my Twitter, I'm at Brin Convenient and you can subscribe to me and then, you know, you'll get a ping once I know. Um, once the video starts, um, then we'll have a hashtag just for that so that you can ask questions and get your answers and, you know, we'll all be able to see it. I'm going to try and get a couple of people from my gender.net uh, forums to join and participate because I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, so hopefully that all works out tomorrow. That would be really, really awesome. Uh, something I've wanted to try for a while, and I thought, what a great opportunity to do that. Um, yeah, so that's all I have. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. That's what all the kids say, right? Anyway, um, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully live.